G'day folks. Well tonight I think we'll have a look at this uh, Warburton Frankie cycles per second or frequency meter. It's off an old generating set uh, control panel which I'm just parting out at the moment. And it's had a lot of water through it so I have to open it up anyway just to clean it up and make sure it's going to work. But it's very old. We don't even measure frequency in cycles per second anymore. It's all classified as Hertz. Uh, obviously 240 volt input. Uh, just measures off one of the phases. This one was measuring off L2, so it's one of three phases. And I'm just in the process of trying to get the front off it because I couldn't get the back out. That's well and truly stuck in there. I ended up chipping some of the baker light away doing it and damaged it, so I'm not very happy about that. But I don't know how I'm going to get the front back in because those little plastic standoff things there are actually nuts that help retain the glass. So I've got to get the back off after I get the front off. It's a bit of a pain but that's a lot of corrosion and rust and other stuff jamming it all together. Even this front fascia is being very stubborn and because it's Bakelite I have to be very careful not to break it. So let's continue opening it up. Okay, well the front came off fairly stubbornly but it did. Uh, rust and other crap made it a lot tighter than it should have been but it was obviously a tight fit from the start. Uh, now that the front's off I can manipulate the metal housing a bit better and even tap the backing plate from this side and try and drive it out but it's already a bit too late for that side there where I tried to pry it open and didn't it succeed very much like it didn't even move but you can see a water line in the bottom there where it's been sitting full of water a little wire things should be okay I think these are supposed to vibrate up and down you can see which one's moving the most depending on the frequency it'll be interesting to put power to it once I know everything's sound inside it but first I've got to get this backing plate out off the outer housing because I can't even get this back together again in reverse. I have to actually screw the glass and everything in with the little retainers, fit the, sorry, no, fit the front with the glass, screw everything back together again, then fit the mechanism in the backing plate afterwards. Otherwise I can't get it back together again. But I'll be able to get it out now that I can get to the other side. Give everything a good clean up. That's all Bakelite get rid of the white paint and maybe even a couple of dots of silicon where you can't see it just because some of these retainers have broken down or cracked or falling apart strips threads so I might do a few modern little improvements like just silicon the glass to the uh, baker lights around that would be about all I'd do I wouldn't silicon anything else just so you can take it apart later on but I'll definitely dress and file everything clean it all up maybe even paint the outer case since it's just that uh, hammer tone grey I think I've got some of that in a can somewhere well opening this up for display definitely wasn't as easy as I was expecting but it worked and it looks quite alright there's really not much to it, there's a couple of coils which are showing signs of corrosion but they should be okay this is 220 volt C uh, 0 point zero six twenty four hundred WDG so does the other one but yeah it's just a series of vibrating pins we got to put power to it see what it does if it still works I'm, I'm guessing it'll still work there's not much to it but the housing definitely needs a good clean up all that rust is what was locking it together but it'll look good once it's done might even be handy for testing generators and things. I'll run it on 240 volt mains and uh, see how that looks. Well you know I was expecting this thing to make some kind of humming noise or something but I just tested it on mains and it doesn't make a damn noise. There we go it's running. And as you can see the center one which is 50 Hertz is well vibrating very quickly. The camera's not even showing that side of it, you can barely see it. But that's working and it's indicating exactly 50 Hertz which is what the grid should be. Should connect this thing up to the um, Lombardi diesel and the uh, China one eventually when I get the good starter motor. It'll be a good way to calibrate the output frequency and set governors that's how you set the governors on generators like that, like normal alternator, alternator type generators. 
Um, yeah, set it at no load, 52 hertz, then put it under load and see if it drops below 49. Anyway, camera's about out of battery. It's time to go. I'll put this one back together later. Thanks for watching.